Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome to Aberica. Our wonderful, wonderful colony, Aberica. Aberica, Aberica, blah, 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 blah. Could raise their taxes, but I think I like having them on low taxes because we don't really need the, their money. Their income is poor anyway. Uh, and I, I would like them to actually have an army that's decent. So they get 13 units. Uh, they are four techs behind us, though, which is just sad. I mean, look at this. The French colony has good tech. The Dutch colony has good tech, but our colony has shit tech because he's Eastern. We have an Eastern colony. That, oh, that, oh, why don't you Westernize off them? Yeah, I, does anyone know, can colonies Westernize? Because I would love my colony to Westernize off of one of these idiots. He's definitely far enough behind. Look at how garbage his techs are. He's definitely far enough behind these guys. So... I hope he westernizes, but it wouldn't actually improve his units, so I guess it doesn't matter that much. And we're so close to the end of the game, it probably doesn't matter. Anywho, we are in a war right now with Manchu. It used to involve Shun, Zhou, and Ayudhaya, but as you can see, we have dispatched all of them. And Pagu is out. Hello, Pagu! Uh, we're going to go... I think we should guarantee them, maybe? Mm, no, because then we'll have to... Uh, That'll use another Diplo relations slot. We already have too many relations. Oh, that's right. We need to get rid of our access through Anim. Damn it. Uh, come back from Francy Pants. Let's get rid of our access through Anim real quick. How do I forget these things? I don't know. I'm fucking crazy. We're building some new units for the glory of Nav Gobert. We're getting ready to annex two of our vassals in the HRE before the HRE becomes... Revoke the privilege, yeah. We don't need our vassals to just suddenly become Bohemia's vassals, because that would really suck donkey balls. And you know me, big fan of them donkey balls. But uh, not for sucking, they're more for licking or cuddling or whatever. Of course, this stream is classy as always. Welcome to Shen Place, home of class. I think we invented class, didn't we? Probably. Diplomats, come home. Please come home. There we go. Finishing all these sieges, but they don't matter. Uh, get rid of our access. Thank you. Okay. Another revolt. That nah, doesn't matter. Uh, you guys are all done. So let's go meet up there. Go chill up there next to Spain. Probably need to keep fabricating on Spain. I think we're missing some claims here. Yeah, we're missing a claim on Maya. Hmm. Maya, Maya, whatever. Missing a claim, damn it. And the cores are almost done. We're waiting for these four cores to finish. As soon as they're done, we can peace out Manchu. But not before. Not a second before. So Shun got uh, some land from Ming. As you would expect. Ming, very weak. Probably won't. Oh, some cores are coming in already. Great. Dolly has cored. Hungary wants access. You got it, Hungary. Oh, yeah, there's a war going on. I forgot about that. Uh, so, Bohemia declared war on Hungary, and Hungary had Netherlands as an ally. And this is causing a whole lot of interesting stuff. Uh, Hungary is also allied to Bavaria. Yeah, so Bohemia is now at war with the Netherlands and Bavaria. Uh, I think this is very good for Hungary, but it's hard to tell because Hesse, Mecklenburg, and Venice are all helping Bohemia, and they're all decently potent. Uh, but basically, it's like the HRE fighting itself. It's very weird. Anyway, new units, please. Keep grouping up over there. One more, one more cannon, please. I would like more of the cannon. More of the cannon. Thank you. And yeah, if we can annex some vassals, I'd be a little, a happy little panda, right? Rebels, whatever. You don't scare me, stupid rebels. You stupid rebels. Now, we could take up our military, and we're actually not ahead right now. But we'll wait, we'll wait until January comes, and then we'll hit the button. I think we'll leave these two armies here. We'll leave 42k, and then we'll bring this stack of 37 home. And we'll leave some guys up by the Spanish border. Or maybe just down here. I don't know. We'll have to leave something down here to police the Manchu territory that we take. 
Well, maybe we just make him release Korea. No. We could make him release Korea. That would be 100 war score. 100%. But, um, I mean, I waited this long for my cores to come in. I might as well take some goddamn land. Whoa, are we losing money now? Really? Oh, it's because we are... Yeah, get rid of some inflation. But yeah, we're re replenishing some units. So as soon as that's done, we'll get some money back. There we go. Oh, fuck you, rebels. You're not allowed to be there. Kill him. Kill him. Come back. We are at 100%, but we can't actually annex him. Even with the overseas expansion CB, he's still too big to annex. Like, ridiculous. 215% to annex this clown. Uh, well, what do we want? We could make him release Korea. Oh, it's only 69 war score. Oh! Oh, holy shit. We can make him release Korea, and we can take some of our claims. Oh. That would be saucy. All right, where's my damn claims? Oh, there's one. There's a claim. There's a claim. Well, there's 98 war score. I think that's a fair piece deal. 98 war score. It's only 60 over extension, and Korea gets released. That's fantastic. And those are all my claims. Yeah. Wow. I can't believe how cheap all this land is. Do I have a claim on this shit? Tanutuva. Uh, I do not have a claim on Tanutuva, and he won't give it to me anyway, so fuck it. I would love to get Tanutuva, though. 101%. Well, fuck it. We'll get Tanu Tuva later. And yeah, you can complain about the border gore all you want. Doesn't matter to me. Alright. Uh, we'll wait until we have our cores finished, though. They're almost done. January 31st. Okay. 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 There we go. By January 31st, they, of course, meant February 1st. Lost a claim on Sinop. Don't care. Man, I really wish we could get that Tanutuva province. Oh well. Done. Hooray! Korea is out. Hello, Korea. Alright, core this. Core this. Core this. Alright. Alright. So that war, we gained a whole lot of land. Wow. We took Hanyang, Hunan, Tongren, Dali, Yumen, which is a center of trade, Gansu. What else did we get? We took Beijing. We took Beijing. And we took... Uh, no, we didn't get Handan. Handan was a little too expensive to take. Uh, and then we got Laodong, Laochi, Zilingal, and Dornod. Hooray! And we made them release Korea, and we made Ayadhai release Pegu. That is fantastic. Tech up? Yeah, we can tech up. Done. And let's annex our vassals. Get that out of the way. So who wants to be annexed first? Thuringia wants to be annexed first. You got it. Next vassal. Goodbye, Thuringia. Goodbye, Thuringia. So stop improving relations with Thuringia. There you go. Oh, France has a regency. Cute. Oh. Uh, oh, yeah. It's because we're a republic. That scared me. I'm like, oh, we're going to get France's dynasty when we die? But no. It, it, for some reason, it always shows that if you're a republic. And this game's been out for almost a year now, and it still shows that. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, anyway, that bumped our power projection up to 100. Fantastic. And uh, I presume our coalition will grow over here. The Shun, the Manchu, the Bing, all these guys, they should join the coalition. But in the West, the coalition has shrunk dramatically, and I'm tempted just to go to war over here with Lith Lithuania. Uh, but I would love for Poland to first leave that coalition. We could always just declare, declare on Hungary, but I think Lithuania is a better target. Uh, we have claims all over Lithuania. We do have one, two, three. We have four claims on Hungary as well, so that's a viable target. Uh, we'll have to keep an eye on that. No, we don't need that. We're already annexing you. He's like, can we have a marriage? I'm like, dude, we're annexing you. We don't need a marriage if we're annexing you. That'll finish uh, next year, November. Wow, it only takes a year and a half to annex Thuringia. I guess they are pretty damn small. 
Manchu is no longer a valid rival. Okay, well, who is a valid rival? Bohemia, France, or VJ? I guess Bohemia. Yeah, he has shit for allies. Uh, we're gonna have to unembargo Manchu. This should be automatic. When you change rivals, it should just be automatic embargoes. There's no reason for, there's no reason for the the, the penalty you take for embargoing the wrong nation. It should just be automatic. Yeah, Hungarian lands are cheap to core. You haven't played this game in a while, have you, Infi? <laughs> um, Hungarian lands no longer are 100% more expensive than normal. So that's a nice change. This revolt risk needs to go away. Oh, hello, rebels. I kill you. Yeah, they changed it so Hungary no longer costs 100% no normally. Like, Algeria always costs 100% because whatever. Um, but they, they also made it so more nations... More nations will take the aristocratic idea group now. So more nations will cost extra. Like Lithuania always takes aristocratic now, meaning their lands cost 100% extra to core. It's a pain in the ass. It's a really big pain in the ass. And I think it's wrong, but whatever. That's just my opinion. I really do not like the 100% extra coring cost. It's a terrible, terrible, terrible mechanic. Rebels! Rebels? Our army organizer has died. No! We lost a claim on Crimea. Damn it. Uh, sure, just take the cheap guy. We are now officially broke. We need that claim on Crimea. Uh, do I have a spare general? I do not. Get a general. Oh, 5-5. Five, five. Nice. We're ahead on tech anyway. We are, we're 11 years ahead on military tech, which is perfect. You always want to be ahead on tech if you're an Eastern nation. 20 and 12. Yeah, let's go merge up these armies. We'll merge and split. Okay. Free manpower. I like that. We need to secure that claim on Crimea. There we go. Okay, we have our claims on Lithuania again. We got claims there, 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 and there. We have claims on every single chunk of Lithuania. Uh, we could go claim Poland, but same thing. They took aristocratic. Of course they take aristocratic for whatever reason. Pain in the dick. Expand the bodyguard, gain stability, lose tradition, or gain tradition. Uh, do I need plus three stability? Sure, why not? Thank you, plus three stability. Oh, we lost a claim on Mogolev. We don't need that one, actually, because that's going to go to our vassal Polotsk anyway. Uh, let's get relations up with Polotsk. Ottomans declared war on the Pope. The Ottomans have declared war on the Pope. Whoa. They're at war with Spain, Hungary, the Pope, Trier. Oh, here we go. So I think this is going to be our chance to declare war on the Ottomans. France, do you have units that you can use? Yeah, France has 150k over here. Great. France is ready to rock. Uh... We should put some troops on the Ottoman border. Here, split in half. 
run some guy. Oh, we already have them in Armenia. I don't think I want them here. I think I want them over here. So uh, let's run another 32 to Imereti. We'll run you guys down to Sharzor. Yes. You guys can go to Armenia. That should do nicely. Okay, good. So we'll put 100k on the border. Let's make sure we have the claims that we want. Uh, my claims, please. Those two, that's great. Uh, those, that's fine. Did we want to claim any of this shit? Uh, no, I think I'll leave the Ottomans over there. I think I'll take only their, um, Asian territories. So let's claim... Badiada Sham? Sure. Or, no, let's claim Sinop. Sinop, please. Okay, good times. What's this? Spain wants access. You got it, bro. We're going to fight a common enemy here. Okay. Converted Nanyang. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> oh, this is so amazing how much orthodoxy we're putting over here. It's great. Orthodoxy, best doxy, right? So we're going to leave. Uh, I guess I'll take this guy. Um, yeah. We'll take you and you. Let's go. To Imreti. And that should be all we need. France can fight on the European side. I will fight on the Asian side. Uh, we'll have the mountains again. Uh, and this time it's not going to be a holy war. So the battles won't matter as much. It's going to be more about uh, taking a province and holding it. Hopefully Durkadur. Uh, it's only base 3. Oh, they're all base 3s. Oh, our rock is a base 4. Maybe we'll go for that one. Alright. 42% annexed. Okay, to roll's ready to rock. Come on back. Let's go ahead and annex to roll. And this is all just to prevent them from becoming vassals of the HRE Emperor. They're almost done. Revoke the privilege that makes everyone a vassal of the HR of the of the Emperor. Uh, he's already done it where no one can change who the Emperor is, so next step is to make everyone a vassal. Uh, and yeah, I don't want to lose my vassals. The one problem with this is this is going to give us a, a very long border with France. And I don't want this border with France, but what are you going to do? You know, we need it. A next vassal. There you go. Goodbye. Lose prestige or lose production efficiency? Of course I'll lose prestige. One prestige versus 5% of our production income? Of course I'll lose the one prestige. All right, as soon as our troops arrive, we're ready for this war. Mongol patriots? Hmm. Okay, I guess they want to flip to Mongolia. Yeah, probably. Oh, they're a vassal of hedges. What? Why is Mongolia a vassal of hedges? I don't know. Oh shit, they have a good general. They want to flip to my vassal. Well, tell you what, how about we kill you instead? How's that work? Ferrara declared war on the Pope. Oh my god. Ferrara, you asshole. I hope he doesn't call France into that war. No, France is still at peace. Okay, good. Uh, relations with Polotsk, I think that can wait. End of the month. Okay. 
Brandenburg wants access. You got it. Where's my generals? Don't I have a good general over here? I mean, I got a, a 1-6. That'll do. 1-6. Come on, broskies. I got shit to do. Okay. Uh, Ottomans. How are we doing, Ottomans? They are doing pretty well. 150,000 guys. France has 200k. But France, importantly, has 150 in Europe this time. And yeah, let's see if France will join our war. Come on, France. We're going to declare for Araka. All right. He's got that green check mark. Let's do it. This is revenge, this war. Oh, man, this war. France is in. All right. And Persia's in. Okay, Crimea's in. Great. So we can individually piece out Crimea. We can individually piece out Persia. That's exactly what we want. Uh, oh, he's got Punjabi Patriots. Great. So they might they might flip some land to my vassal during this war. That would be great. I would not argue that. So we got 40 guys up there, 20 guys down there. Maybe we don't need that? I don't know. Leaving 60 guys at home, I guess, is not the end of the world. We'll do it. Uh, we're just going to ignore Persia for the most part. They can do whatever the fuck they want. At least for now. Oh, wow, they squished. Nice. Okay, first step. Invade Crimea. Uh, we're going to leave a good general here. Actually. Hmm. No, France is forced marching over it. Yeah, I think we're okay. Uh, let's invade Crimea first. So everyone, everyone roll over this way. You can go sit in Azerbaijan, actually, but you can roll this way. And slow down to speed four. Do we have access in Assam? Uh, Assam is our territory. See? We've already converted it, too. And do you mean Anam? No, we got rid of that. So after we've annexed our two vassals, we'll be at five out of five relations, which is perfect. Uh, and after this war, we can annex Finland. They love the shit out of us. And we'll probably also annex Polotsk after this war. We'll see. Dornod. What's up, Dornod? You have a great name there, Dornod. That's not a great name. It's a terrible name. Portugal will give Boina to France. Portugal surrendered to Navajo. Portugal surrendered to Navajo. Okay, then. All righty, then. And I still can't send my colonist over here for whatever fucking reason. It says it's too far away. Well, that's a bug. Oh, well. Seslavis. So, yeah, Persia's going to invade this area. I don't care. Uh, Karkal Pact, why don't you come on over? New tariff. Yeah, give me that mercantilism. How are we on mercantilism anyway? Should be pretty good, I think. We are um, 57 mercantilism. So nice. So nice. Oh, shit. Here's the problem, though. My vassal is invading Persia, and my vassal is going to get fucking steamrolled by this guy. I mean, his tech is not that good. Maybe what I should do is send my army down that way. Uh, I'm going to force march you down to here. And we'll put the check mark on, see if we can't help our vassal. And why don't we support these rebels so that they will count as mine? One ducat a month, half a ducat, 0.04 ducats, you got it. They should be blue now. No, they're still not blue. Ah, whatever. Hold on. Ottomans are coming from my blood. I should put a general over there. Where's my 5-5? Five five? Well, there he is. How about I put that 5-5 five five over there? See how well we do against the Ottoman advance. Are they teched up? Yep, they teched up. 
Okay, took the check mark on. See if we can't get our, our vassal to help us out here. Uh, you know what? I'm going to... He's got a 4-4 four, four versus my 5-5. Five, five. I'm going to come help. And I'm going to force March to come help. See if we can't get involved in a good way. Because this battle could be important. It will be in the mountains. And it, yep, across the river in the mountains. So we should be all right. Our troops are pretty good here. We're a tech ahead of these guys. Yeah, we're a tech ahead. So we should be a little better. And our general's better. And we have more morale. The main difference here is he has more discipline. But we have a better general. We should be fine. Well, yeah, we got him. That extra morale, so good. Okay, you don't need that forced march no more. Let's go invade the Crimea. It'll be fine. Oh, shit. Persia just swept in and took out Punjab's army. Damn it. All right, don't forced march. Um, we'll go sit in the mountains, though. Sounds like fun. Because we will have to peace out Persia and Crimea before we peace out the Ottomans. Ottomans being the war leader. And Brandenburg's in this war too. So that's tempting. I could just go annex Brandenburg for whatever fucking reason. Uh, he's only a two province minor. Does he have any cores? Nope. Well, no, he's, he has one. Maybe we just vassalize him. Yeah, that might work. He doesn't even hate me. So yeah, we could vassalize him and feed him some land. Uh, he is Saxon, so he will take any land that is Catholic and Saxon. Saxon is this chunk of land, which doesn't really help me because I already own most Saxon land. Except these two are Saxon. Oh, but they're Protestant. I wonder if he would still buy them. Probably not. But yeah, we'll see about doing that. If we, if we vassalize Brandenburg, um, maybe even annex and release... That might be interesting. If we vassalize Brandenburg, then we can give him Potsdam. He has a core on it. And he would probably buy... Yeah, he would definitely buy Altmark as well, because it's Saxon Catholic, just like he is. So yeah, that, that'd be good. And uh, this guy's got no allies anyway. Well, nobody important. So yeah, that, that's a good plan. That'd be fun. Holy shit, 40,000 guys. Alright, so we've started the invasion of the Ottomans. That's fine. You're going to roll that way. I'll go to Lower Dawn. Uh, check marks are off. Should be good. Uh, yeah, they killed the rebels. Damn you. How dare you kill rebels. Yeah, France is invading the European holdings. That's great. So they're going to keep a lot of them busy. And that's kind of the important thing. Oh, Persia went right through. Interesting. Where is Persia going? Fuck, I don't know. Anyway, we declared for Araka, so we're going to have to go do that. Uh, why don't you guys split up a little bit? Um, that's fine. We should just be able to annex Crimea, right? Uh, no! He's worth 120 war score. I can't annex him. Oh, that's disappointing. Ooh, cheaper military tech or lower cost on ships. I mean, it doesn't really bother me because we're so far ahead on military tech anyway. So I'll just go for the cheaper ships. It doesn't matter. Last I checked, we were 11 years ahead on military tech. We're probably 10 years ahead right now. Yeah, we're 10 years ahead right now. So, yeah. 
No point. No oh, shit, look at all these Han Patriots. Wow. Alright, Thuringia has fallen. Goodbye, Thuringia. More like Russia, am I right? Ooh, yeah. And there's no revolt risk here. That's important. He is, however, building troops for some reason. Destroy that. Yep, France is taking care of the Ottoman army in Europe. Uh, I don't know where the Ottoman army in Asia has gone. But it looks like he wants to go fight France. That's fine with me. You go fight France, dude. Well, there's Thuringia's army. They are... I guess that's a decent army. But I'm not going to sit around and siege that stuff. Uh, uh, I don't really like this. Probably just try to run this way and see if he'll let me across. Probably won't let me across. We'll see. May just delete this army. It's in a bad place. Bad location. But we'll see. Yeah, they don't seem interested in fighting this little stack, which is great. Uh, but that stack of 23 is going to get in the way. Let's see what happens. Got 78 in Temez for some. Why do you have 78 guys in Temez? Next. Human. Alright. Center of trade over there. Yeah, it looks like he wants to let me across. I'm okay with that. Uh, yeah. And we're ready to invade Persia. Turn off. No, we'll keep the checkbox on. No, we won't. Keep the checkbox off. Let's go to Jangladesh. I want to block off this little area. So I guess Kalat and Kedah are important. If we block off Kalat and Kedah, then he's not going to be able to come over. Yeah, let's go to Kalat and Kedah. Then he's not going to be able to come in here and dick around with Punjab's armies. I want Punjab's armies to siege up everything they can. He only has the two cores, but if he can do some sieging for me, that'll make me a happy panda. Mm, that's not going to work out well for us. Let's go around. Oh, we finished a siege already. That was quick. Uh, let me go back and lock a diplomat on France again. Okay, Lower Dawn has finished. Let's... Let's go to Persia. Man, that sucks that Crimea is going to be too expensive to annex. He only has, what, five provinces? And he's still too expensive to annex. Oh, I should have deleted this one. Well, there's Persia's army. I'm not sure what he's doing. Let me force march down to Keta. See if we can't... Or is that Kalat? That's Kalat. Let's see if we can't uh, get out of it. Um, you, can we escape? I'm just going to let him escape, maybe. Oh, we got out. Look at that. Nice. Good times. You know what, though? We are out of time for this episode today. Thank you guys for joining me. I have been Shen. You have been you. This is the second big war with the Ottomans. Except, where's my... There it is. This is the second big war with the Ottomans, except this time it's not a coalition war. Uh, Bohemia, the Netherlands, uh, whoever else was in that last time. A whole bunch of nations that were in it last time are not in it this time. So basically it's just us, and this time France has units, 150,000 French units, which are helping. So it's France and us versus the Ottomans, Persia, and Brandenburg, and Crimea. That's, that's a good situation for us. But anyway, I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.